What's up guys, it's Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and today we're going to take a look at how to perform the update of an ACCST receiver from FR Sky to the version 2.0 or better firmware revision. As we've discussed in previous videos, ACCST receivers are compatible with the new tandem line of transmitters, but they need to be running version 2.0 or better of the firmware. And that's what we're going to learn how to do today. Now, in order to perform this update, we're actually going to load the firmware into the transmitter and we're going to use a mail to mail servo lead to connect to the smart port of the receiver. So you're going to need your tandem series transmitter, you're going to need an ACCST receiver, and you're also going to need a mail to mail servo connector. You'll also need a Windows PC or a Mac PC. Either one will work. And the first thing that we're going to do is go to the PC and we're going to download the latest firmware from the FR Sky website for the X8R in this particular case. Now, whatever receiver you've got, that's the firmware that you're going to want to grab. So if you've got, say, an S8R, an S6R, X8R, etc., any of your ACCST uh, D16 receivers are going to work using this method. So let's head over to the PC and go to the FR Sky website and grab the firmware that we need for the X8R. So here in whatever browser you choose, I use Google Chrome, we will go to frsky-rc.com and we're just going to go to the product page for the X8R receiver. You go up here to products, go to receivers, and we're going to look for 2.4 gigahertz ACCST. And now that we're here, we're going to look for the X8R, which is right here. We'll go ahead and click on that. That'll take us to the X8R product page. We'll go over here to download. We'll go to that download page. We'll go to ACCST D8 and D16 firmware. And we want the D16 firmware, so ACCST D16 version 2.1.0. And that's exactly what we want. We want version 2.0 or better, so 2.1.0 is good. And we'll go ahead and download that. All right, once we've downloaded it, we can go over to our download directory. We can open up that zip file. And under the zip file, you're going to see both an X8R ACCST 2.1.0 FCC or LBT. So FCC is the version that we'll use here in the United States. So that's the one that I want. Now what we're going to do with that is we're going to move that over to our tandem series transmitter. Now in my case I'm using the X20S. So what we want to do is put that uh, transmitter into bootloader mode, which will allow us to hook it up to the computer via USB. To get it into bootloader mode, we're going to press the scroll wheel down. So just hold that down and then tap the power button. And that will bring us into bootloader mode. Once we're in bootloader mode, we'll attach a USB-C cable from the PC into the top USB-C port of the transmitter. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So we've already got that door open. I've got my USB-C cable here. We'll go ahead and plug that in. All right, you may have heard Windows there uh, chiming a little bit as the uh, computer starts to recognize that we have a device plugged in. And over here on Windows, we'll see that we have a couple of new drives that have popped up. So we've got one that's our SD card and another one that's our flash memory of the X20S. And we don't want to mess with that flash memory. We're actually going to be looking at the contents of the SD card. So let's go down there and go to the SD card and we can see audio, bitmaps, firmware, models, and scripts. Now if you don't have firmware here, I had to create that folder. To do that you would just go up here, click new, click folder, and that will uh, open up a dialog here in this window that will allow you to create a new folder. So I created a new folder called firmware and inside there 
uh, we've already got a folder for the X6R and X8R210 firmware. So we've already got both FCC and LBT documents in here. So we've already copied that over. Now if you didn't have those, you can just copy them straight over from your PC, your download folder, right into here. Now remember those are inside of a zip file, so you'll either need to decompress those or from the zip file copy them over to your SD card. Uh, we can go ahead and close out the SD card. Now we can unplug the USB from the top of the transmitter and we can get out of bootloader mode by simply tapping that power button. That will power off the transmitter. Now at this point what we want to do is we want to take our mail to mail uh, servo connector and we're going to connect that to the smart port on the top of the transmitter. So right here is the smart port and you'll see that there's a little notch uh, cut out on the left hand side of that port. That is where your signal wire is going to go. So you have your brown which is your ground wire, the red which is our positive, and the yellow is our signal. We'll go ahead and plug that in with the yellow closest to where that notch is, just like so. All right, and then on the receiver over here on the left hand side you've got your smart port and we're going to plug in the other side of that cable here to the smart port and again you've got a notch cut in where the signal wire goes. It's actually annotated there on the top. So we'll go ahead and plug that in here. All right, now that we have that plugged in, we'll go ahead and power up our transmitter. We'll press and hold that power button until we see that FR Sky logo. And now we're going to go to our system menu and we're going to go to the file manager. Now that we're in the file manager, we can see the folder structure of the SD card. We're going to go down to that firmware folder that we created. We're going to pick the folder that holds our X6R and X8R version 210. And we want to select our ACCST 210 FCC firmware. So we'll go ahead and click that. And what we want to do is we want to flash an external device, which is that top option. All right, and once it starts flashing, you'll see that LED indicator start lighting up on this X8R. All right. And you'll have a progress indicator on your transmitter as well. All right, so now we see that we have a successful flash. We'll go ahead and click close, and we are all finished. Now we can disconnect our X8R, and it is flashed to that 2.1.0 firmware. And at this point, we can go ahead and bind this X8R receiver to the tandem series transmitters using the ACCST D16 protocol. All right guys, so that's all there is to updating your ACCST receivers to version 2.0 or better uh, using the smart port on the X20S or any of the tandem series of transmitters. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those down in the comment. If you like the video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification icon so you're made aware when we release new videos on the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, head over to rcairmarshall.com and all of the links that you see on the web page will be affiliate links. When you click on those links and you purchase something from any of those websites, it pays a small commission to the channel at no additional charge to you, and we absolutely appreciate your support. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel for more videos on the tandem series of FR Sky transmitters. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one.